bombing run. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our host for the evening, General A.A. Ron. General A.A. Ron, combatants are ready. Commence operations. All right, guys, are you ready for the next show? The Woo! Bobby Ron Backfire Edition, yes, all right. And let's welcome the first comedian combatant to the stage. Please give it up for Dylan White, everybody. Woo! Thank you so much. Yes, I am Dylan White, and I am white. It's okay, I spell my name differently. The privilege is silent. Um, <laughs> Watching the Johnny Depp trial? Oh, wow. Johnny Depp knew something was wrong with his relationship with Amber Heard. He just couldn't put his finger on what it was. <laughs> so glad they're getting divorced. I'm, anybody else here divorced? Who's divorced? If you haven't gotten a divorce, highly recommend them. <laughs> I'm divorced, but listen, I don't want to be one of those comics who talks trash about their ex. I don't want to be. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. The judge said I can't. Um, no, it was an amicable divorce. We parted as friends. So I've been legally friend zoned. So, so if you're ever put in the friend zone, sir, just think it could be court ordered. It's, it's like the most polite restraining order ever. <laughs> So I had to start dating again. Well, I didn't have to. It's just my carpal tunnel was getting bad. <laughs> and I matched with this woman, and I was I was impressed that you know I could actually match with somebody because believe me, I know what I look like. I look like you bought Kevin James off of Wish.com. <laughs> So I ask her what she wants to do on her date, and she says she wants to go clubbing, and that's not my scene, because I like baby seals. <laughs> Went really well, though. I found out she's a weed smoker. Anybody smoke weed? <laughs> Clearly not right now, because where you were, you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I don't myself, but I love that it's legal in Arizona here, yeah, just because I can't yeah. wait for them to start selling it in bulk at Costco. <laughs> Just because I want to see the line for the sample table on Saturdays. <laughs> and hitting all the snack tables and then walking up for another round. Some like little old lady in like a hairnet and a name tag just rolling fatties. <laughs> doobies. Fresh roll doobies. <laughs> Only 420. <laughs> I went to the Walmartiest Walmart that ever Walmarted. <laughs> It was in Arkansas, and everything in this Walmart was camouflage. <laughs> Honest to God, I mean, they had the camouflage, of course, jackets, shirts, pants, boots, uh, but they had camouflage shower curtains, camouflage bed sheets, and camouflage lingerie. And I'm thinking, what happens if your wife buys camouflage lingerie and lays on the camouflage bed sheets? You come in, all you see are arms, legs, and a head. It's like, ah! the thought of these Arkansas rednecks having sex just oh and not because they're ugly or anything I'm just afraid that you know he's up there going who's your daddy and she's all you are and means it <laughs> my name is Don White thank you all place it's all camouflaged anyway. I mean, you pick up a box of cereal and you realize you picked up Tampax. I mean, that's going to be an awkward cereal moment. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> all right, uh, our judge is ready for the next comedian combatant for dogfight. Yes. All right, got a yes from one judge. Is the other judge ready? We're ready. Oh, we're ready. So please welcome the stage, Thomas Eskin, everybody. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm just uh, a replacement. You know, I realized I gotta dress better when I go out because I wasn't expecting to be on stage. <laughs> it's a damn shame. Like, I came out the house as a, a black.
black American, I got Indian, I was a commie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta do better, man. I gotta do better. But, uh, you know, some stuff that's going on. Like, actually, before I get into it, I'll be a commie. Whatever's gonna bring the gas prices down, that's what I'm gonna be, okay? Like, I went out to L.A. and gas was $7 a gallon. And I was upset about gas out here. Like, it was so bad, I saw a white lady begging for gas. Like, you know what that white lady's got to beg. And it came my way, and I was like, look, it's not that I don't believe you, it's just that you're at the gas pump in a Tesla. But uh, I went out, they got beautiful cars out in LA, though. Everybody got money. I saw Bentleys and all that. Like, I drove out there in a bum Mitsubishi. You know? I was sitting here trying to get a Mazda to upgrade my lifestyle. I parked next to a Lamborghini and a Porsche. Like, what's the point of a Mazda? They saw me in a Mitsubishi, they was like, oh, he's broke. If they saw me in a Mazda, they saw me in a Mazda they'd have been like, oh, he's broke with a car payment. stores and whatnot, man. I was walking and I saw uh, I saw a black associate talking to a Japanese couple in Japanese. And I was like, yo, you gotta be bilingual to be a sales rep now? Like, this comedy better work out for me, guys. I'm you, like, I am not qualified. I'm not. I gotta see in English. I can't even talk above average. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was also the guy laughing about the Jersey. I'm from New Jersey too. Uh, you know, New Jersey's great, but the main thing is the difference in driving. Like Arizona drivers, like uh, let me explain something to you guys. You guys do stuff like slow down and pull over for emergency vehicles. That kills me. We don't do that in New Jersey. Like if they gotta get to the merge, <coughs> this whole joke though. Sorry for the person too. Right, I'm gonna get off stage now. We can cut that part. Hey, my name's <laughs> You know, I own a Dodge Dart. It's broke, so now it's a Dodge Don't. <laughs> it sucks because I work from home too, so it really doesn't do me a heck of a good for having four wheels that goes nowhere. And it's not a Fiat, it's a Fium. Because my mechanic's Mario. Alright, last joke, so we're getting worked on. Okay, thank you so much. Well, let's give it up for our two comedians, alright? Let's give them up for that. After this, we have a bonus episode of Dogfight. The two people that won the dog, the bombing runs are going to play against each other. John Cowan and Jeffrey Morrell. So stay here. we got one more bonus show. So that's awesome. Judges, are we even close? Oh, they're not even here. Okay, they left? Oh, no, I'm kidding. They're still here. I'm paying them just like I'm getting paid. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, we I, you guys ever traveled to like a different state or a different country, I should say different country. You went to a different country? Yeah. yeah, as a family we went to Canada. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My mom hated how my dad talked to the uh, local French Canadian women. Because he kept trying to talk to them in the language of love. And he said, Ooh la la, menage à toi. No, it didn't work. We had, our sh we had the whole trip cut short, too, by the way. Because my dad thought loonies was fake cash. You know, loonies and toonies up there. He paid the motel manager in Monopoly money. So, yeah, we had to leave right then and there. All right, uh, Agent X, are we even close to knowing who's winning? Maybe. Generally, Aaron, you know that Intel ends up involved in cleanup operations from time to time? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, apparently Agent Orange showed up, so please, you guys just don't inhale that either. Um, <laughs> but you guys are awesome for being here for these live recordings. I do do this online. If you want to go check it out, 
I will let you know where to find that. That is on a YouTube channel called This Justin News. I know that's not the same name. I get it. I get it. But if you go look there, bombing runs, all the episodes have been up there. I've been doing this for a year and a half online, and then I got to do this live on stage. So I really appreciate everybody who's come out here tonight to support this, and all the comedians who are part of this, and Woo! my investor yeah. who's here. Uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Episodes. These episodes will be on a Roku channel soon, about mid-June. Also on your Fire Stick, your Apple TV, uh, possibly VHS, LaserDisc, <laughs> whatever I have to do to get to you. <laughs> Betamax. Generally Aaron, generally Aaron. Yes, you got an intelligence report with some additional information. Oh, good, because I'm not giving them an additional jokes. <laughs> See, this is a recipe for uh, soup. I don't think this is the right, oh no. All right, so Joker Ace of Bombing Run Dogfire Edition is Dylan White, everybody! Hey! show for tonight guys thank you for tuning in being here live actually and this has been an omnibus production thank you guys this has been an oddly funny production